Let's move on now. It was not an ordinary Sunday night in Pakistan. Around midnight, lawmakers gathered at the parliament's lower house. And by early hours today, Pakistan's parliament passed the controversial constitutional amendment bill. The National Assembly passed the 26th Constitutional Amendment Bill with a two-thirds majority. Hours after the Senate passed the bill, it is being seen as a big win for Pakistan's government. Prime Minister Shabar Sharif termed it a historic day for the nation and its people. Sharif stated that the amendment will make the provisions of justice more accessible to the people. He also congratulated the members of the National Assembly who voted for the bill. But the historic move has triggered fear and criticism in equal measure. The 26th Amendment is the biggest reversal for judicial independence in three decades. It paves the way for Pakistan government to appoint judges, a move contrary to the country's institutional history so far. Lawyers in Pakistan have said hand-picking Supreme Court judges from a list of three is a flawed system that will incite in fighting within the judiciary. They also argued that the reform is a body blow to the constitutional order and will promote biased selection of Supreme Court judges by passing seniority as a criteria for appointment as well as its political capture. The 26th Constitutional Amendment Bill includes provisions like capping the age of the Chief Justice at 65 or a tenure of three years, whichever comes first. It also gives the powers to appoint the Chief Justice of Pakistan to a parliamentary committee. The panel will consist of eight members from the National Assembly and four members from the Senate. Suomoto powers of the High Courts are also restricted to purview of matter. The changes also end military trials for civilians. Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is now joining us live from Islamabad. Hi, Anas. This amendment bill was passed during the night. We've not had anything from the opposition uh, because some would view it as the opposition will protest the passing of this bill during the night. Have you had anything from the opposition? That is the PTI concerning this passing of the amendment bill. Lerik, the PTI or the Pakistan Tariq and Saf yesterday, they had quote-unquote rejected it. Uh, but as I said, uh, on the other part, when they were uh, addressing a joint press conference with Maulana Fazlur Rahman, uh, they were appreciative of the fact that Maulana Fazlur Rahman played a role in these amendments and that they supported the role of Maulana Fazlur Rahman. So it doesn't know, it doesn't seem to understand or batters the point as to what really the Pakistan Tariq and Saf want. Uh, last night, uh, post-midnight, when the session was ongoing, uh, the PTI walked out or rather boycotted the voting process on the constitutional amendment uh, when the clause-wise clause approval was ongoing. I was inside the parliament uh, uh, when uh, this entire proceedings began that lasted for about six hours. Uh, the session that began at midnight, just after midnight, lasted till dawn, in fact, uh, in fact just about uh, till dawn. Uh, and the Pakistan Tariq and Saf said that, they, uh, that this is against judicial independence. At the same time, they were appreciative of the fact that uh, Walana Fazal Rahman and other parties have come together to do this. So, uh, with regards to the opposition, uh, there seems to be uh, opposition other than the Pakistan Tariq and Saf. There seems to be some sort of consensus uh, when it comes to this particular amendment. Uh, but largely, there seems to be some division within the uh, legal fraternity as well. A short while back, the Karachi Bar Council, uh, they have condemned uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, constitutional amendment saying that it is largely aimed at clipping the, the wings of the judiciary. All right. That is our Pakistan Bureau Chief, Anas Malik. We'll have to leave it there. Anas Malik, thank you very much for talking to us today. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.